Hitting your shots consistently is one of the most difficult and important aspects of Apex. While there are a ton of different types of weapons that require different aiming tactics to be successful, your tracking is one key aspect of your aim that will constantly need to be great. From the many automatic primary weapons to every other gun in the game, you need to be able to quickly and accurately track a moving target. So today, we've got some in-depth tips and practices that are going to help you evolve this core aspect of your aim. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. From beaming with the R301 to lasering someone with a charge rifle, your tracking is one of the most used aspects of your aim in total. It requires you to be perfectly comfortable with your sensitivity and settings. You've got to have steady aim at differing speeds depending on the target, and these target sizes vary heavily based on how far away you are. Imagine if you could always hit those big shots on that wraith that's too far forward or that Gibby with his back to you. Well, if you have great tracking, you absolutely can. If you had to focus on one aspect of your aim to better improve your overall game, it would definitely be your tracking. And this skill doesn't just apply to your shots on someone sprinting in front of you. Let's say you get some shots on somebody standing completely still. The second they see, hear, or feel those shots, they're going to be on the move. If your tracking is poor, then you're going to have a tough time actually finishing that knock. And with so much movement in the game, every single enemy you fight is going to be running, strafing, sliding, and wall bouncing their way around these fights. So getting comfortable with your aim so that you can constantly track these movements with your crosshair, hitting your shots regardless of what kind of crazy moves they pull out will have you winning so many of your fights. Now, this can be a really tough skill to practice in the heat of a game. While every single fight can give you some extra practice, there are a ton of variables that really mess with your ability to hone in on just your aim tracking. From having enemies firing at you, to having different guns with different recoils and fire rates, everything in-game that makes Apex so dynamic and rewarding also detracts from your ability to focus on the fundamentals. While you can head to the firing range and get a lot of reps with all those parts of the game, what you really want to slow down and focus on is your core aiming mechanics, and that's where Aim Lab comes in. This is the absolute number one recommendation I can make for improving every aspect of your aim. While today we're just focusing on your tracking, Aim Lab is a free game that has brought me more value in my FPS journey than I can even begin to describe. Every single part of your aim can be boiled down and practiced individually, with a ton of stats and feedback to help you dial in and shore up your weaknesses. So look, spamming games is great, and game time will help you improve overall. But if you're looking for a very specific way to improve fast, then boot up Aim Lab and follow along as I show you guys my favorite drills when I want to work on my tracking. If you don't have Aim Lab downloaded, no worries. Check out the link in the description and then maybe even check out our most recent video on how to master your shotgun aim. In that video, we also went over some helpful setting recommendations if you wanted some guidance with getting started with Aim Lab. Alright guys, with all that out of the way, let's go over my favorite tracking tasks that I like to grind when I'm ready to improve my aim. If I ever feel like my AR shots just aren't landing as consistently as I would like, or I'm having a tough time one-clipping enemies in the open from their movement, this is where I come to regain. Even weapons like the PK and the triple take have a lot of tracking involved with their use due to you trying to get some extra damage on the choke. In truth, every aspect of aiming requires a lot of the mindset that tracking trains you to have. So, let's get into these tasks and I will do my best to explain how each of these drills helps me in Apex specific scenarios. This first drill is a bit of a warm up, but it's a good tell of where your tracking is when you come into the game. Under the skills section, you'll find a tracking section. This is where all of our drills today can be found, and the first one, strafe track, is no exception. Whenever I'm missing shots on moving targets with a flatline, 301, car, or honestly any auto gun in the game, I will come and run this drill until I feel confident. Strafe track is very true to the name as the goal is to track a strafing target consistently over the whole course of a minute. This is simple in concept, but these targets have got some gnarly strafes on them, and they will really put your tracking to the test. 
I really like the health bars too because they simulate about the time that you would need to focus a lower health enemy in Apex. And they can sort of give you an idea of the time to kill vibe for the drill, which is absolutely great. This really forces you to focus for the length of a lot of gunfights and can help you improve your crosshair placement on moving enemies for long periods of time. This next drill is an evolution of the first, adding in full 360 degree elements to the drill. This one ups the ante a bit, giving you a live simulation of the strafe tracking drill. Circle track makes it feel much more like you're actually in a game of Apex and helps you focus on your spatial awareness and look inputs for wider movements. Fights at Apex can come from anywhere, at any time, and with movement like jump pads and portals, they can move across your screen very quickly. Circle Track will have you tracking targets all around you, prepping you to one clip that Octane who thinks he can just jump pad and tab strafe right in front of you. So be sure to give Circle Track a try and see how you like it. This is another task that really embodies tracking, so it's a good straightforward way to check how you're doing. Speaking of how you're doing, make sure you're checking your stats at the end of these drills. Utilizing all the stats that AimLab offers when you finish a task is an absolute must if you really want to dial in your aim. This is one of the biggest ways where AimLab can help you more than just practicing in the firing range or in real games. These stats will help you understand if you're aiming a bit to the left or right, if you're leading or trailing in your tracking, and exact percentages of the shots that you're actually hitting. So as we head into these next two tasks, make sure you're understanding the reports of your performance and using them to your advantage. This is where you really start to see improvement and when you bring that improvement into your games in Apex, you are gonna be so much more dangerous. Moving into our next task, these next two do a great job of simulating an actual fight and have some really interesting mechanics that will put your tracking to the test. The first I wanna talk about is Ninja Shot. Ninja Shot has a moving target with a more realistic hitbox, and your goal is to destroy each dummy. This is a great practice to help you hit shots on strafing or running enemies at close and mid-range. The targets in this do some interesting movement with a thruster as well, which I like because it forces you to quickly flick back to its new location and then instantly resume a steady tracking. With each dummy taking three hits to kill, you've got to be accurate to dispatch them quickly and reacquire the new target. I really like this one if you guys can't tell by the fact that I currently hold the number one score on the leaderboard. But don't take my word for it, come and take my spot and let me know if you make it up into the top 100. This one is definitely a go-to drill if you're struggling with your SMG or even wingman tracking at closer ranges. It's also overly awesome practice for close range combat. The next one is similar to Ninja Shot, but with an added element of having to strafe to dodge enemy attacks. Free Track Ultimate has a target that never dies jumping around like Ninja Shot while also shooting rockets at you that reduce your score. I know, crazy, right? This really puts your tracking to the test and gives you even more to juggle by forcing you to strafe. This allows you to practice some live strafing yourself, keeping your crosshair placement on the target at all times. Your goal is to hit as many shots as you can, and this can be pretty tough when you take into account all the management you actually have to do. This one is perfect practice for all those hectic Apex fights. I really like the added need to strafe yourself, because realistically, this is what you should be doing in any fight at this range. And while it's not the exact same type of strafing, it still puts that extra strain on your aim and helps you practice counter strafing. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any drills you've been using for tracking and if any of the ones that I covered today are gonna make it into your regimen. Apex can be a really tough game and to reach that next level, we all need that tough, realistic practice. So take these drills seriously and I know you will see results. Anyway, guys, it's been your boy Valued. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.